pleased to have with me in the studio Shannon Jackson. Shannon is the executive director of Our Revolution. OurRevolution.com is the website. This is the, uh, well, rather than my describing it, Shannon, first of all, welcome to the program. Thanks, Tom. Glad, Glad to have to you here, here with us. Tell us, what is Our Revolution? How, you know, how did it start? What are you all doing? Certainly. Well, I'm sure as many of your viewers know, um, Our Revolution started as the successor to the Bernie Sanders 2016 campaign. We are doing everything we can to carry on the legacy that was started um, in the political revolution. We're really excited to continue the fight to change the country economically, racially, uh, fight for the common causes of environmental, um, climate change, all sorts of things that the senator is a champion for and that he has inspired millions across the nation to continue to right. work forward. Carry, carry forward those ideals. And and um, you're organized as a 501c4 principally, so you can help political candidates. Do I do I understand that correctly? So yes. Um, in this informing the structure for the organization, we found that a C4 was the best method to be used because there's such a broad uh, range of things we want to do, both politically, educationally, and uh, apolitically. Right. Right. So, so that's that's working working well for you. What's what's Bernie's involvement with this? So the senator is the inspiration. Um, as a citizen, sitting U.S. senator, he cannot be involved with day to day or work to uh, instruct exactly what's going to happen. But much like he inspired millions across the nation, he inspired us to form this organization to continue the legacy. Right. So, so it's what the Senate ethics rules don't allow him to be directly involved. Right. So you're just you're you're saying okay here's his statement of principles, uh, statement of issues on posi positions on issues and Correct. things like that. You can that. go through the senator's stump speech and you know, right. 27 or 16 points, however you count it. Right, and this uh, we're going to be continuing. This is your platform. This. Absolutely, this is the work that you're doing. And so we're looking to find people all, all across the nation that came out, whether they're delegates or they're been inspired themselves and build them up, help them in their races, or help them with their causes, or help them with their ballot initiatives. Give us some for examples. What are you all doing that right now? For example, um, just last Thursday, we got involved with the Massachusetts primary. Um, you had Mike Conley, who is this um, very progressive champion in Massachusetts, and we helped um, drive voter turnout for his primary. Mm -hmm. We may place thousands of calls and thousands of texts, and he actually ended up winning by 394 votes. Wow! Um, so we're really pleased. So you made the you you made the consequential choice in that election. We helped remind people that there was an election, and we highlighted the strengths of Mike Conley. Similarly, we did that with Pat uh, Jelen, uh, another candidate in Massachusetts. Tomorrow is the last of the primaries, both in New York and in Rhode Island. And we'll be doing similar things for candidates. Uh, Mr. Aramo in New York is running. He's an excellent uh, working family. He's progressive. Mm. Uh, we're really looking forward to helping him. And we'll be continuing to do this for the foreseeable future. Right. Um, as we move into the general after this, we're looking forward to taking that energy and really highlighting what the uh, local uh, and statewide ballot initiatives are. There's seven key ones that we're getting involved with from, there's one in Alaska that if it passes, it will register 50,000 people to vote. It'll mm -hmm. make it, turn it from a system where we opt in to uh, register to vote to an opting out system. Right. Um, there's also a huge fight in California that will lower the price of pres prescription drugs. Right. Um, single payer in Colorado, I mean, there's, a bunch of fights all over the nation that we really want to make sure that people are aware of because the margin of um, success in those is so small compared to right. right yeah and 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 typically very few people show up to to vote in well actually, in California this... actually there's 17 ballot initiatives and so you'll get there you'll look at the ballot and you might you know just whiz through it we want to make sure people know that on 59 60 and 61 to vote on those those are the ones that to vote are, yes oh yes Oh, yes. Those are the ones on the death penalty, prescription drugs, and um, a statement on Citizens United. Right, right. What do you make of, of uh, former Bernie supporters who are now supporting um, any of the, the, uh, the, the other four candidates? Uh, apparently, Donald Trump has picked up a few. Apparently, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton has p picked up most. But uh, Jill Stein has picked up some, and, and oddly enough, uh, according to a study I saw last week, uh, almost half of Gary Johnson's supporters are former Bernie. You know, what's going on with this? Well, I think what was said by the senator very eloquently is that his supporters are independent thinkers, that when he was out there and garnered their support, they were inspired by a variety of things in his platform. 
Mm -hmm. They mostly liked that he was honest and that he stood for what he believed. And if you looked back 40 years, he was saying the same things as he was today. And whether it was the one issue or the overarching platform, they believed in Bernie Sanders. And I think it's up to the candidates that are still running, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, Jill Stein, Gary Johnson, whoever it is that they choose to support, to be worthy of their vote. Right. Personally, um, I would think that they would follow the senator's example and lean more towards Hillary. But I really think what's beautiful in the strength of our country is that people have the right to choose who they want. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a good thing. Um, uh, one of the biggest issues that, that Bernie brought out um, repeatedly that the corporate media never wants to talk about because it all ends up in their pocket is, uh, at least during elections, is money in politics. And, uh, you know, uh, every member of Congress, uh, we just uh, a week ago uh, heard the story that the uh, one of the political parties passed out a and a fact sheet to their members, you know, here's what you, here's how much time you should spend calling donors, basically. They, they, they <laughs> called it by a euphemism, you know, but uh, servicing constituents or something. Sure. Yeah. No, they Whatever, have a but, very nice language but, yeah. to use for it. But basically, you know, half of every day is occupied, both Democrats and Republicans, raising money. And then that money is, most of it's used, you know, on television advertising. And it, it's, it, what do we do? Well, that's the fight that our revolution will be taking on, is getting money out of politics. People who are elected should not be accountable to anybody else but the people that elected them. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't spend half their day on the phone trying to keep their job. They should be working at uh, passing the legislation and voting on things that their constituencies support. Right, right. So uh, prioritize for me what our revolution is, is working on. Certainly. Well, it's been a whirlwind. Um, we came off of a very exciting campaign. We jumped right in, trying not to lose any of the momentum from our campaign as we wanted to continue that support moving forward. Right. And so right now we're in the process of continuing to endorse probably over 100 candidates from school board all the way up to U.S. senator uh, mm -hmm. throughout the country. So that's one of the three legs. Would you, would you uh, characterize those folks as Berniecrats? I think that's a great term. Okay. Um, I've been, I've been using it a little. No, so. it's, it's a strong term. I think yeah. it's fitting because... Okay. The platform, we are supporting the Democratic platform as it is the most progressive document that has ever come out of a DNC. In large part because of Bernie's efforts. Certainly. But we're also, we want them to be fighting against the TPP. We want them to take stronger positions that we believe in. Right. Um, secondly, we're going to be doing national fights in fighting the TPP and working towards climate change. I know that you just recently attended a uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's um, yeah. New film is coming out. Yeah. Um, Broader yesterday. But we'll also be doing a lot of education programs, really trying to bolster and grow our support across the nation. Yeah. So, a long way to go, a big job. Our Revolution, O U R Revolution, OurRevolution.com is the website. Shannon Jackson, the executive director. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you. This is the Tom Hartman program.